Hi everyone and welcome back. So uh, we are talking about the basic GraphQL APIs, basic queries. And now we are going to extend this example with some mock data like mock user, mock post, mock comments data. And we will try to define the types accordingly. Okay, before that I have done a small change. I have added a node mode and I have added node mode exdc that's so that we can run this in the watch mode npm run start i mean using node mode whenever you do the file changes it will restart our server okay coming to our index.js before this what we will do is let's say we, we are defining some entities user post and comment these are the three entities we are targeting and based on that we are going to define the queries okay so we are going to generate some mock data and here we have queries we are going to have more queries when we are introducing few more models like user post comments okay so this is the type user type post and let's say we have one more which is comments okay and uh, here we can just say okay whenever you are sending a comment i will send you the comment type currently we are talking about object but this can be simply an array also okay and what this exclamation means first of all this user is required and then the array is required means you inside array user of object needs to be there and then array needs to be there okay similarly we have comments and this is also required so let's say these are our queries we can call it as a posts this is simply me this is comments and okay these are our queries now when we are defining the resolvers what we will do is we will just generally dump the data in form of an array which is user post and comment so comment can have a message and body that's it okay and we can define our queries which is let's say it will become me and me is returning it should always return an object not an array so we are good here posts and comments these are the two other queries we have so we are good with me and we have posts and we have another is comments and we always need to remember that we are going to return an array not an object and here it should be title should be message and body this is comments id message body id message body id title body published so now this is our simple server we have written <coughs> okay we did a frequent change so babel node is restarting now there is some error if there is a mismatch in the type definitions then there will be an error so i think it's already what we can do is npm run start or in the node mode you can do a delay so it does it doesn't frequently restart okay now we have this type query we have user we have post and we have comments and based on that we have defined the resolvers we can see what all queries we have me posts and this should be comments okay so our resolvers this should particularly map with our query this is comments okay in the resolver we also have comments here we have posts we have posts and me here we have me okay now for now we are just fetching the very basic data if we just go with our swagger I am in GraphQL console, we just reload, we will get the documentation and here we can see all the queries, 
let's say I want to do a query for comments and whatever data we have because we are hard coding right now and why it is complaining cannot carry fill text on type comment okay let's see this oh let me maybe reload this so we can get the updated type definitions and here we are doing add query yes now this is this is the correct format which we have put now you can actually execute a multiple queries also this will give you the data i mean this should be defined inside and in a single query or oh, now let me just give it a try this is comments this is posts and this works right we can actually nest it inside a single query tree now we have the mu object also we can put that inside the same tree because this would be one root query or one root mutation and we are getting all the data right now we are just throwing some dummy data hard-coded data but this is not what we want to achieve what we want to achieve is when you are saying okay give me this user i should also be able to return the comments the posts when i say the post give me this particular post I should also be able to return the author of the post and comments on that post. When I say give me the list of comments, then I should be able to return the, the username, the author name who has returned that particular comment. Then only we can have uh, some real picture about how we are writing GraphQL aggregations, right? Currently, it's just a mock data, JSON response on the comments, on the posts, and on this query, we are returning it. So based on that, we will also define our type definitions. Like let's say currently we are passing these, but now we can change our query definitions. We can say, okay, we have users and here you can pass the query as an input, which is of type string and we can do the filter. And then I'm going to return all the users matching with this particular criteria. And this is required. Same thing I can do for the posts. And the comments so here I have posts here I have comments comments I don't need to do a filter I will just return all the comments provided by all different user okay let's clean this one now this is returning users this is returning the post array of post array of users array of comments right now we will define our user type so now we have to mix and match all these types we can't just say okay from the user's query we are just returning only these parameters we can also return uh, the posts the comments right from this user definition so what i will do is okay the posts returned by the user okay here I can also return the comments written by the user right so I can I can return the post type and comment type from the user type this is how we will be mixing these types because if I'm requesting your user I can also request okay give me the post give me the comments returned by this particular user and similarly for the post, I can return the author. I can add the author here and I can add the author for the comment. Now the only thing is we need to handle these separately in the resolvers, right? Because what we are handling is okay in the users, we are returning the user type, but now in the user type, there are posts and comments also there, which we are not returning from these resolvers. If I just change this to the users and now the users and posts they are taking string as an input right so all those things we need to handle so let's connect in the next video and we will fix this we will pass the the string in the users in the post and we will return 
the required data which says okay the basic user information and you can also request the posts and comments array.